safety issues. Drone footage is all the rage now and federal officials are taking steps to regulate it. Joining us uh, right now is Johnny G. Watson, executive producer with Real to Real Production, and joins us to talk a little bit about uh, shooting drone vi video. And I've seen this in music videos everywhere. I see it, gosh, everywhere I go to any event, the drones and, are everywhere. And you know, it's getting big. It's getting, it's getting, it's getting to a point to where a, a person like you and I can go out and purchase, you know, a, a drone and and go fly it out of our backyard. And I think that's that's kind of what the issue is is, is going on now is is we really don't want the backyard flyers out there. You know. Now, do you have a do you have a drone here? You know, I didn't bring my drone today. I'm ah. so sorry. I, I know you guys have some footage. Um, I shot of the Arvin High School graduation, right. and you know, of course, I, I'm a teacher out at Arvin High School, and, and we're now teaching kind of drone technology in my classroom. See, that's what's interesting to me. So you you teach over at Arvin High already, yes. mm -hmm. and now you've made this a part of your curriculum. Curriculum. Yes, you know, because you know, we, we have people that come and visit our school all the time, and a, a couple of farmers came in, a couple of oil guys came in, and they were talking about the use of drones, you know, on on their facilities, mm -hmm. you know, looking at surveying farmland, looking at oil wells from a different perspective. And so they're going to need people who have that drone experience. And I thought, well, what a better way to do it because I have a classroom that's set up for, for video and television anyway, so let's do it. You know, so one thing I heard uh, when they started talking about drones usage in, um, for events or whatever, mm -hmm. that you need a pilot's license. Is this true? Man, I tell you what, I, I'm trying to stay on top of these things. And, and the, the latest right now is FCC um, has in works where they want you to kind of apply for a license. But okay. it'll be, it'll be a, a very smaller scale. You will need to know some basic, um, you know, flying terminology, things okay. like that. But it's not, it's not going to be anything that's too rigorous that you couldn't do. But there is going to be a process. And that was, that was at the end of February of this year. So they're, they're making strides, you know, every day to, to try and do something to curtail a lot of the the amateur flying, I guess. How much how much do the drones cost? Say some, you want to get one for your your kid for Christmas. <laughs> Teach them how to how to start flying drones because this is the wave of the future here. Yeah, you know, um, you can. Uh, what I would do because they are very expensive, or they can be. I would go to the to the mall and get one of those little small ones. Okay. And then you just learn how to control it first. Right. Learn how to use the remotes and kids are, you know, they're video game players and so it, to them everything's a game. So I'm sure they would adapt to it, but at least those crashes won't be as, as fatal, you know, as costly. But, you know, the, the drones that, that I'm, I'm using now are between $1,200 and $2,200. Wow. Yeah, so they, they, they jump up in price. And now, you're, you're a professional photographer. We, mm -hmm. we have you work for us Sure. During football season, uh -huh. you shoot uh, football games. Do you use this in the football games? Do you know, I'm probably going to bring it out this year. Okay. You know, yeah. So because I've gotten more comfortable, and, and one of the things that I've learned, Aaron, is is you really have to log in hours. You have to become a person who who knows the the flying grid. You know, you almost have to have a flight plan. You have to have a backup plan, and mm. all these things. And I'm thinking, man, if I were really flying a plane right now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I know. You know, it's there's a lot to do. And, and a lot that goes on, I mean, wind is a factor. Let's say, for example, real quickly, you're flying at a football game and you're getting some shots and you go above the stadium. Well, the winds up above the stadium might be 15, 20 miles an hour, you mm -hmm. know, faster. And you have to learn how to control that and be ready for it. Well, yeah. how can we contact you to learn more about uh, Real to Real? Uh, well, you, you can contact me at uh, my you know, Facebook page. Of course, you can find me, Johnny G. Watson, um, www.realtorealservices.com you know dot com you know you can you can find it pretty easy um, but you know my passion is is teaching out at Arvin High School and, and then I, I you know, of course video is fun to do on the side but man I, I really enjoy my time you know teaching and then you know of course we have a lot of our graduates that are working here in the local stations now oh, so, yeah. so that makes it a lot of fun. Well an educator taking uh, the future by the reins and uh, using uh, the technology of drone technology in your class. I appreciate it. Hey, thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate the time. Johnny, I appreciate your time so much. Johnny G. Watson, everybody. Well, still ahead.